Hi guys, welcome back to yet another video from BioBuddy. And in this video, Vita, we will be moving forward with the water canal system (WCS). Right. So in the previous video, I told you about the porifera, the general characteristics, habit, habitat, body plan, sea loam. Everything was discussed, right? And I told you that in the next video, we will be moving forward with the water canal system. So let's just get started. But in the last video, I told you that the porifera. they are basically having pores on their body right so these small small pores on their body beta they are known as ostia okay they are called as ostia so this is the simplest water canal system which i have already drawn for you guys right so these ostia beta they are present all over these black structures beta which i have drawn these refer to the ostia these are the pores what are they these are the pores through which the water goes inside through which the water water goes inside right the water goes inside through these pores also termed as the ostia now you can see beta these are the arrows which i have drawn the red color arrow the water goes inside through these ostia right and there is an opening here okay you can see there is an opening here this is known as the osculum what is this osculum beta through this pore this is a big pore through which the water goes out so the exit of water happens via osculum and the entry of water inside the body happens through the ostium Now, beta, you can see this canal entirely is made up of two layers. Okay, cumanoderm layer and pinacoderm layer. So the outermost layer, beta, this is the pinacoderm layer. Fine. And the inner layer, beta, this is the cumanoderm layer. Fine. So pinacoderm and cumanoderm. So you can see, beta, cumanoderm layer has which cells? It has cumanocytes. or coanocytes or collar cells they are having coanocytes or collar cells and also beta they have flagella now what is the function of flagella it helps in the movement of water flagella here helps in the movement of water movement of water inside the canal or you can say inside sorry there is no canal this is not this inside the spongio sea inside the spongio sea now you guys remember what is spongio sea we haven't told us yet what is spongio sea beta so spongio sea is an opening right inside it the hollow structure the open space in the center is known as spongio sea and it is lined by coanoderm layer you can say the coanocyte cells line this this is the spongio sea right so the water goes inside via ostia it comes out via osculum outer layer is pinacoderm inner layer is coanoderm coanoderm has flagella fine flagella helps in the movement of water inside the spongio sea coanoderm layer is made up of coanocyte or you can say collar cells and what is spongio sea it is the centrally located portion which is lined by the coanoderm layer now with a water canal system can be of different types on the basis of their body wall If the body wall is simple, it is not at all folded. It is just simple, then it is being ascon type. This is the simplest type of water canal system. Then second is the sycon type. What happens beta in sycon type? The body wall it starts folding inside. The body wall you can see the difference here. The body wall has started folding. So this is the complex type. And in the third one, beta, this is the leucon type. This is the most complex one in which majority folding has already taken place. Okay, so I am not saying that there are only these type well defined. No, they do not have a well defined shape. But 
their shape you can tell by defining by seeing their body wall if it is majorly folded it will be eucon type if it is little bit folded it is sicon type and it is not all folded as con type simplest complex in the most complex fine now let's next come to beta other functions which take place inside the body so beta digestion respiration and excretion okay let me write down digestion digestion respiration and excretion what are these beta these are the functions that are carried out by the water canal system but these functions beta they are common in the water vascular system water vascular system and water canal system are different so ye teenon jo so functions hai beta these three functions are also being performed by water vascular system but they are also being performed by the water canal system in porifera and water vascular system also performs these function in echinoderms in echinoderms in echinoderms so beta exclusive function which only water uh, canal system can perform just the water canal system can perform water vascular system cannot perform beta that is repro production how come reproduction is being performed because beta they have what flagella and due to flagella what is happening due to the flagella movement of water is taking place and due to the movement of water what happens beta the gametes also are flown from one part to another and due to that reproduction process is possible fine and now one exclusive feature of the water vascular system which water canal system cannot do that is locomotion it has false feet locomotion it has false feet that helps in the movement or helps in the locomotion fine now like we have skeleton beta right we have endoskeleton so which is giving a shape to our body right many creatures they have an exoskeleton for giving a support a shape in the same manner beta the porifera also they have spongy fibers and spicules which form their endoskeleton uh, spicules and spongy fibers okay so these spongy fibers and these spicules they help in the formation of the endoskeleton now spicules are two types siliceous and calcareous siliceous means they are made of silicon and calcareous means they are made up of calcium so spicules and spongy fibers that is the uh, siliceous spicules and the calcareous spicules as well as the spongy fibers they all three come together and they lead to the formation of their endoskeleton which somehow helps in the support and forms the framework of the body right so this is all about beta the water canal system a little bit of water canal system and a little few points about the water vascular system of the other organisms as well okay any doubt we can clear it up in the next video or you can put down in the comment section below in the next video we will be moving forward with the physical attribute of the kingdom pori sorry of the phylum pori fera fine any doubts any problem any confusions you can ask me any time i'll be happy to help okay so i'll see you guys in the next video until then take care